Right, we're in the correct area now. And I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Right, we're stopped. Put up the periscope. Is this the right periscope? Probably not. Let's see, what have we got? Anything? Ship spotted. Lots of ships spotted. I don't see any from that. There's one there. I'm going to go slightly higher in the water too. Right, that's tanker. I'm having that. Uh, was there something there? No. Was that, that's a crane. Oh, that's a freighter and I think a gunboat in front of it. That is a sub chaser or something like that. It's a small military boat. But that is my baby. That's what I want. Can I take pictures from this scope or not? I'm just going to have a look at the thing. Is there something, yeah, something there. A sub chaser or something there. There's a plane there. Oh, there's something stationary over there in front of the tanker. Oh, right, is it, it's another tanker. Oh, this is fantastic. Right, I'm going to put up my observation scope and see if I can take pictures from it. I should be able to. Yeah, there's going to be quite, uh, two tankers over here, which I am going to have. I think I need to be closer, actually. I think I'm too far away to take pictures of anything. Yeah, I'm too, I'm too far away. I'm going to reset that to zero. Put the scope down. And we're going to go ahead and turn to the left. Go ahead two thirds. And we're going to go and uh, get closer to these tankers. Where are they? They're here somewhere. In fact, I'm going to put my scope up. I can see where the hell they are. Right, I'm going towards this tanker here. Land unit spotted, that's fine, don't really care. Stop. Now then, at here. Interestingly, I can't take a picture of it, or that. Why not? Oh, I have to lock it. Okay, alright. Ah, right. Problem solved. Right, one tanker. Hmm. Apparently I can't lock that one. Well, I have locked it, but I can't take a picture of it. Oh, I've completed the objective, that's why. Okay, fine. Right. This one. Range. About that. Angle. Probably about that. Speed. Zero. Set. And type computer says. Yeah, if I take the uh, if I take the spin off it, that will hit it perfectly. Right then, open, open. I'm going to fire two at this one. First one's going there. The second one is going there. And the second one a high speed one as well. So hopefully I can get them to hit at the same time, and that will increase the uh, the force of the strike. So I'm going to wait, 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 and go. Fire. I probably waited too long to make the other one catch up, but never mind. We'll see. This is the first torpedo I launched. I want to get rid of this clock. It's annoying. Go away, clock. Here we go. Little uh, dials and decals on the front of the uh, torpedo there. And there's the other one. Torpedo impact, but it didn't show me the impact for some reason. Never mind. Boom. And both of them hit. Was that enough to sink it? It doesn't look like it. It doesn't even look like it's taking any damage, does it? Oh, it's definitely starting to list a bit, though. I'm starting to actually run out of torpedoes. I have three forward torpedoes left and one aft torpedo. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to turn left a bit, two thirds ahead, and straight. Yeah, lounge unit, don't care. And turn a bit more left. Uh, stop, that'll do. Straighten out. I'm going to go yes, sir. back to 180, somewhere around here, there he is. Lock him and I'm going to hit him with an aft torpedo. For some reason, my tubes are still open, because I'm an idiot. Yeah, open five. Right then, have I got a... No, I'm going to have to actually do this again. Right, range, angle, roundabout that I guess that'll do zero speed yep that'll do I'm gonna take the uh, I'm gonna take that off it and fire another one straight into the middle there goes the torpedo I think my torpedo my, my sub is sitting inside a rock interesting oh well there goes the torpedo long sleek and deadly ready to penetrate your hull hopefully right in the middle, that should be the sweet spot oh yeah that's a nice strike oh and fire explosions, fantastic that's what I like to see oh look at that lifeboat flying off flying off and spinning everywhere yeah that's the end of him and that was very loud but yeah he's going down Fantastic. One sunk. Now then, head two thirds, turn right. Uh, what the hell's that? Oh, that's a land unit. Uh, this one is going to be interesting to hit. But um, we'll give it a go. Never let it be said that uh, I'm not one for a challenge. Yep, that's fine. Right, turn again. and wait, keep waiting from this sort of distance I should be able to curve it into the side, straight on and stop, that's fine right yes, sir. Ooh, hello, what's going on there? Right. minesweeper, small gunboat some kind of tanker this one is far more important now then, I have two torpedoes loaded. Oops. Right. Range. Angle is like that, pretty much. And zero speed. It's like shooting a duck in water. Right. I'm going to put a bit of a tweak on it because I want to hit it right in the sweet spot. And I'm going to make it higher in the water. In fact, I'm going to make both of them higher in the water. I'm going to make them both contact torpedoes. First one's going to be low speed. I'm going to fire that off now. The second one's going to be high speed. And I'm going to wait a little bit before I fire that one. In fact, I'm going to open the tube. That will speed things up. And I'm going to fire it... Now. Go and get rid of that and go torpedo cam I like this torpedo cam it looks really nice so yeah here we go torpedoes in the water now we can see the other torpedo coming up behind it quite possibly here it comes alongside of the boat Not quite in the sweet spot, but pretty close. Boom. There's one. Boom. There's the second one. Very nice. Lots of fire and smoke and things. Don't know if he's sinking, though. He's got two holes in him, by the looks. But I don't think he's actually going down. Yeah, 
Hmm. Well, it's still on the surface apparently. Let's go to external view and have another look at them. Well, he's got a huge hole there. Now he only has one hole in him, but it's huge. And he is listing a bit, I think. Yeah, he's very low. I'm going to speed up time a bit and see if he actually does eventually go down. Yeah, he's going down. Oh, one torpedo was a dud. The second torpedo was a dud. But never mind. It looks like the first one did enough damage. Enemy unit destroyed. Wonderful. That's what I like to see. Two sunk freighters. One there. One here. Fantastic. Now I have, I think, one torpedo left. Yeah, I have one forward torpedo left. And I'm going to use that one on this guy here. I don't know if I'll be able to actually sink him with it. But um, I'm going to give it a go. Right, let's go. Turning right. Not running into the wall. Straight forward. Speed up a bit. Turn a little bit left. Oh, okay, turn very left. And that'll do. Straighten up and stop. Then we're going to go to this thing. Go to zero degrees. There he is. Oh, he's very low in the water. Hopefully one torpedo will do him. Okay, take that off. I don't want to do any mistakes. And I want it high in the water. This range that he's sort of like that zero speed right in the money fire let's go to torpedo cam whoosh there goes my torpedo and if this is a dud I'll cry but um hopefully it won't be and hopefully it will hit it right in the sweet spot and take it down and that will be a fantastic end to this patrol because after this I've done two, two, uh, two missions so I'm going to go and head back to base after this torpedo but uh, first things first is I want to know if this sinks him really hope it does that would be a, fa a fantastic end to the patrol be a very successful patrol too I see you getting close to him now. Must be very close. There we go. He's going to hit him right in the middle. It should be the sweet spot. A bit late for the alarm, mate. Boom! Smoke and fire and all sorts of things big hole in the side, that's brilliant don't see any torpedo, uh, not torpedoes, any uh, life rafts being launched so I don't think he's gone down yet let's speed it up a bit oh. okay, oh, there we go, he's sunk, excellent, so let's see what we sunk with that uh, with that, we sunk a medium old tank, no, two medium old tankers and one small modern composite freighter so that's worth overall about 12,000 tons, that's fantastic so yeah, we've had a very good patrol here, and now we have to try to not get killed. Easier said than done, but uh, yeah, we'll see I guess. Let's go back to the map room. I don't want to go to course there. Two thirds, and I don't particularly want to run into uh, whatever that guy is either. I'm going to go in front of him, because he can't move, he's docked. I don't think he even has any crew on board. But yeah, we're going to go out of here. In fact, I'm going to go back the way I came. I'm not going to go out this way because if I do go over that way, there may be another destroyer. So I'm going to go back the way that I came because I've already destroyed the destroyer that was over that way. And that means I have to go back through the islands here, but that's not too big a problem. There wasn't any kind of contact coming through them at all, so um, this was definitely the safer route to come in. Whoa, what the hell was that? Oh right, 
this guy exploded after going underwater. And um, he's like upside down. That's awesome. Yeah, that was a big explosion. Is there anything left here? Uh, nothing over there. Don't think there's anything else docked. There's this seaplane here, which looks pretty cool. Four-engined seaplane. Looks a bit like a banana with a wing, obviously. This is a large gunboat, I think. The guy on board who doesn't quite know what's going on. Uh, over here, I've got a feeling that this is a sub chaser. In fact, yes, it is, because those are the depth charges that sub chasers will uh, will chuck after you. And there's the thing there. Or unless it's a mine layer. It's either a sub chaser or a mine layer. It's one of the two, and it's got a very distinctive high bow on it. And I think there's another ship somewhere, isn't there? One, two. Oh, I guess not. That's, that's, uh, that's over there. No, that's a, that's a port. No, nope. okay, nothing else. Right, back to sea then. Okay, we've spotted another ship here and uh, I can zoom in and see that it is a sandpan. And um, I'm going to go and sink this just for good measure. I don't want anyone, uh, anyone knowing where I'm going. So I'm just going to go and kill this sandpan here. That'll be fun. Okay, so it's actually two sandpans. There's one here and one there. And I just tried to ram them and they were being bitches. So I'm just going to go shoot them with the deck gun. I mean, I'm on my way back to... Uh, I'm on my way back to uh, camp anyway or base or whatever. So, you know, there's no really real need to uh, preserve my ammunition. So I'm just going to blow its sails off. You're only supposed to blow the bloody sails off. I buy sails. No, you're not going anywhere, are you? No, I thought not. Of course, I can't actually shoot any lower in the water, which is irritating, but never mind. Where's the other one? It's over here somewhere. I think he's a little bit further away. Ah, oh, I missed him. Let's go straight. Yes, sir. Now he's on fire. There's something that's just fun about picking on sandpans. Oh, I shot over with that one. Oh, still slightly over. That one hit him though. And the gun reloads so quickly with these guys on it. They're ridiculously good at reloading this gun. Where's his friend? No, keep going right. What are you doing? Don't be silly. Okay, he's behind me. Right, well. Just got to take this guy out then. Now start turning right again, I think. Why is it shooting a thousand again? I didn't tell you to set it to a thousand. It's supposed to be set to five hundred. Oh. Anyway, it's right in front of me now. Where's his friend? Can I get his friend in my sights again? I can. But he's still out of range. How does he still have propulsion? I killed his sails. How does he have propulsion? I don't get it. There goes his sails. Right, well they shouldn't be able to avoid me now. I wonder if my deck gunner can hit them. Fire at will. Fire at the waterline. While I try to uh, yes, run them over. Kill that one. Oh, he could hit it. Yes, sir. 
Oh, there we go, he did hit it. Hit it again. Come on, we're stopping, you can hit that. Bit of target practice for you. Ooh, so close. Yet so far. Nope, no joy. Oh, that's better, you hit him that time. Well done, you hit him. I expect pinpoint accuracy from my gun crews. Enemy unit destroyed. Great, where's the next one? The other one's here. Kill that one. That one probably is too close. Oh no, he can hit it. Excellent. This will be over very shortly. He's still moving. He has no sails, yet he's still moving. Doesn't make any sense, unless they've got a propeller on there. I don't think sandpans have propellers. Oh well. This is massive overkill, but um, I've got no real reason not to, to be honest. There we go. Enemy unit destroyed. Fantastic. So what were they? Were they both sandpans? They were both sandpans. How lovely. Right. Where are we? We have gone through this little straight here, and now uh, we're going down through this little wiggly course here to uh, minimise the chances of meeting anyone. Then we're going down through Java Sea, avoiding Sarabaya, through the patrol zone from the first mission, which I'm going to delete from the map, and then back down through this little straight here that we came up through, and back to Fremantle. So yeah, should hopefully be uh, fairly and um, fairly uneventful but we'll see some things uh, uh they, they, things usually don't end up how i expect them to be so we'll see i wonder if this is the sandpan shipping lane because we've got another one and i'm going to kill that one too yes. okay so um there's actually two sandpans this is the first one and where is it that's the second one so i'm gonna have my deck gun i have some more practice one at short range we shouldn't have any problem with if he was actually, you know, able to shoot at him, that is. Yes, sir. Oh, he's shooting at the other guy now, is he? That's fine, you can pick your own targets, I don't mind. Of course, you have to be able to actually hit them. What's that? Oh, close to the bottom of the sea. Okay. Yes, shoot this one, yes, and we'll stop. Yes, You shall leave those sea creatures alone. Yes, sir. Fire then. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Firing right, at will. Back one third. Are we just too close or something? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Back slow. Runner three. Five. Why are we Two, submerging? One, five. Up. Yeah, let's try that again, yes, shall we? Yes, sir. Firing at will. Yes, sir. Stupid deck gun. Yes, sir. All stop. And stupid guy in charge of uh, submerging the boat, too. I didn't tell you to do that. Boom! That looked painful. You killed all the guys on deck. There's a sail, one of them anyway. These sandpans are surprisingly tough. There we go, enemy unit destroyed. Fantastic. Now, where's the other one? Kill the other one, he's almost directly behind me. Okay, um, right, now we'll keep going left and we'll go two thirds. Until we are within range. There we go, that will do. Stop. Yes, All stop. Boom, he's on fire. Slow down to regular speed. I could have sworn that last shot was going to miss, but no, he hit him. These ones, however, are terrible. You can do better than that. I don't think that one... 
is a sandpan. I think that one's a fishing ship. Or it could be a large sandpan. It looks slightly different. There we go. Enemy unit destroyed. Let's see what they were. One sandpan, one large sandpan. Fair enough. Return to course. And unman the deck gun. Okay, there appears to be some kind of convoy in front of us. Um, I'm not going to engage with them. I'm going to stay at periscope depth. And uh, I'm going to go to silent running. And I'm going to go ahead one third and try and sneak past them. In the meantime, I'm going to have a look and see what they are. They should be over here somewhere. I don't see them, but they should be over here somewhere. Oh, that looked like something there, was it? I don't think so. I have no clue where they are. Uh, what what bearing are they? I'm sort of like that. Okay. Right. So that's my submarine and they should be somewhere over here. So let's go in a straight line over here. And uh, they're moving really slowly, except for that apparently warship that's f moving fast and closing at long range, which is interesting. Oh, hello, I saw something there. Yep, here we go. This is the convoy. So what have we got? We've got a destroyer. Another destroyer. Another destroyer. There's another one. And what is that? That's bigger than a destroyer. I think that may be a cruiser. Can I look at the book? No. Oh, that's a shame. And that's a... Uh, not sure what that is, but it's some kind of freighter. There's a whole bunch of freighters, and there's one... That must be a cruiser. It doesn't... It looks too big to be a destroyer. There's one there. There's another one the same here. Whoa! I'll go and make my day. Oh! <laughs> oh! Yes! Go on! Oh! Yes! <laughs> oh, how amazing is that? <laughs> that is fantastic. Friendly fire! <laughs> Oh, I think he's destroyed that as well. That's fantastic. Oh, I'm so amused. Yeah, that's going down. He sunk it. <laughs> that's a destroyer. So a cruiser just destroyed a destroyer. Oh, well done. <laughs> oh, that's the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, and there's another destroyer. And that looks like another freighter. If any of these guys get left behind, I'll take them out with the deck gun. Um, but I don't think they're going to. What's this one over here? This looks like a, another destroyer, maybe? Yeah, that's a destroyer. I can't believe a cruiser just sunk one of their own destroyers. That's fantastic. So yeah, there's two cruisers here and two destroyers. Or is he is he a cruiser? I don't even know anymore. It it might be that there's two patrols here that are sort of passing through each other. And um that just happens to be what happened because of it. Where's the guy that was it him? Is he the guy that sunk that guy? I'm pretty sure it is. That's ridiculous. I'm going to go back and uh, find out what that is. Oh, go here. Ooh. I should already be at periscope depth, but never mind. Right, Japan. It's not a battleship. I think they're cruisers. 
No, 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 those were cruisers there. That's a cruiser. Right, so it wasn't one of those. It had planes on the back. It could have been a Takao heavy cruiser, possibly. No, it wasn't one of them. No. Hmm. Well, it definitely wasn't a destroyer with planes on it. So it was definitely some kind of cruiser. Let's see. There's a carrier. I reckon it was a, a Takao heavy cruiser, which is 15, well, nearly 16,000 tons. That's ridiculous. That is um, quite possibly the stupidest thing I've ever seen. The yeah, A sunk it, look, <laughs> there's the grey marking. That's ridiculous. Okay, let's see if we can uh, sneak past them. I think... Yeah, that was definitely two convoys or something passing in the night. Or rather, in the daytime. Yeah, I'm going to wait here and wait for these guys to leave. Because they will eventually leave hope. Yeah, they're just going to sort of go around in circles forever. But that won't happen. I reckon I can sneak past here. I'm on silent running, so they shouldn't detect me. What is the distance under keel? Whereas it's here, isn't it? Oh, over a thousand feet. Right, well in that case, I'm going to go down to... 210 feet ish and uh, just go straight past them they shouldn't be able to uh, get me on their sensors at this range I would normally consider at least going after them but um, I have no torpedoes so you know probably not the best plan but Let's see what's going on over here. That's a destroyer right at the back. Over there is another ship. Oh, there's something here. That's another destroyer. Yeah, they're not leaving anyone behind. So, yeah. I'm just going to continue onwards. Get back to Fremantle. End the patrol. That was a um, fantastic end to the patrol. I can't believe a cruiser just sunk a destroyer. That has made my day. Well, we're free and we're gone, so that's good. Okay, this is just too funny. They've sunk another one. I have no clue what's going on, but they have sunk another one. Um, yeah. Clearly they're having a bad day. <laughs> I do not know, but they've sunk two ships over there now with friendly fire. Um, and that's just hilarious to me. So, yeah, I'm going to leave them behind before they accidentally decide to find me. So, yeah, that's fantastic. They sunk two of their own guys. What idiots. Okay, we are approaching Fremantle. Um, I have no close... Uh, no, no, no close. I have no idea how close I have to be in order to end the patrol. But I'm sure it will pop up the thing for me. We're getting very close. There we go. End patrol. Yes, I'm sure. So, at the end of that patrol, we patrolled the Java Sea. We sunk some ships. We uh, took a photo recon of Singapore and sunk some more ships. So we sunk 15 merchant ships and 4 warships. Our total tonnage was uh, 38,527 tons. We are returning to base. And we have been awarded the Silver Star to Lieutenant uh, Commander Tommy for extraordinary heroism as commanding officer of the USS Sea Lion during the third war patrol of that vessel. Is this the third war patrol? I think this is the second actually. Um, has been awarded the Silver Star. Great. Okay. Gentlemen, we finally have some good news. Our intelligence proved correct, and the enemy launched an attack with the aim of capturing Port Moresby. Their invasion force cut south through Jomart Passage, with a pair of aircraft carriers providing cover against any U.S. ship's encounter. As a counter to their movements, Task Forces 11 and 17, each centered around one aircraft carrier, were deployed to the area. On the 3rd of May, the Japs landed on Tulagi, with planes from one of our carriers promptly hitting that group with minor results on the following day. The next day, Port Moresby was hit by Japanese bombers, 
But then our boys and the Japs searched the seas in vain, passing next to each other, but without achieving contact. On the 7th of May, the search finally achieved results, with our plane sinking a light carrier and the Japs getting a fleet oil tanker for their effort. The next day, the big flat tops came under fire, in the first ever carrier-to-carrier -carrier battle. We lost one of ours, and the other one was damaged. But our flyboys hit them hard, too. And we're pretty sure that their carrier division is not going to be doing battle anytime soon. In the end, the Japanese were forced to retreat, and we thus put a halt to their expansion to the south. It's time to turn the tables onto them. And Intel says we might soon get our chance. That sounds good, doesn't it? The 24th of April, 1942, in Perth, Fremantle, Australia. Okay, here we are. Here is our briefing room. Again, fantastic. Here's our two awards. Uh, patrol star, I'm guessing that is now the Silver Star. So, yes, the Silver Star and the Third Patrol. And the Medal of Honor, Congressional Medal of Honor, in the First uh, first Patrol. Even though we've only done two patrols, not three, like I said I did. Oh, well. Oh, I actually sunk a junk at some point in that one. Never mind. Um, oh yeah, I sunk some sandpans on the way back, didn't I? So I sunk two Ak uh, Akazuki destroyers, one Mitsuki destroyer, and one Fubuki destroyer. A whole bunch of sandpans, one medium European composite freighter, one small medium composite freighter. No, two small medium composite freighters, sorry. So yeah, uh, I don't know how much we actually sunk in that one, but that... Oh, we sunk a large modern tanker as well for 10,000. So yeah, that was um, a very successful tour there. Let's see what our score is. 175,000 tons. Well, nearly 176,000 tons. So we're 170,000 ton 170, tons, give or take. In fact, we're 169,500 tons pretty much ahead of E. Farrell. Yeah, he's not got much of a chance. So let's go take out, uh, not take out, let's go check out what our uh, our men have got. Hello, what have we got here? Special ability, Bombard. Uh, required deck gun, flat gun, deck watch. Both AA gun and the cannon have the damage and accuracy increased and the reload, reload time is two times faster. Duration, five minutes, available one hour. I'm guessing you can only use it once every hour. Ah, oh, damn it! I don't want this guy to move. He's got 105 guns. I don't care if you are an expert sonarman, you're not moving. What on earth is that? He's got one as well. Theoretician. When it comes to fame and fortune, a highly educated theoretician is most welcome among your crew. While he is on board, the entire crew will receive a strong boost to experience gained. Fantastic. You, as captain, will benefit from his work by getting a major bonus to renown. That's fantastic! Um, yeah, he can stay right there. Are there any more new ones? I think that's all of them. Yeah. Okay, so what have we got? We've got... Oh, I've received... I've got the maximum number of petty officers, apparently. Oh, I can give someone the Congressional Medal of Honor. Very nice. Um, should I give it to my commander? Can I give it to my commander? Yeah, I can give it to anyone I want. I'll give it to the commander, because he's been doing well. Um, right, I should probably boost up some of these guys who've got... Yeah, I'll give a Bronze Star to this guy. In fact, I'll give Bronze Stars to all the guys who've got specialities, actually. I'll give it to him. And Silver Stars can go to this guy. And who's going to get the other Silver Star? Mm. Well, I'll give it to this guy, I guess. On the gun. Fantastic. Right then, um, I can't get any more, ah, that was weird, there was a, a specialist at the bottom there, but kept disappearing as I scrolled down. Never mind, uh, is there anything new that I can get? No, no radar upgrades, no gun upgrades, no nothing. Okay, that's fine, and I've been fully reloaded, that's lovely, I didn't want to do that myself, so that's good. And, um, yeah, there's not really a lot else I can do with my team. So, yeah, they're, uh, they're doing well. That's really annoying that I've got an expert, uh, expert radioman as my, uh, as my gunman. He's got 105 guns, so I'm not moving him. I don't care what his, uh, his special ability is. With 105 guns, he is staying exactly where he is. So, yeah. Uh, everyone else in the right position? 
yeah, everyone else is in the right position. I mean, I know I should probably get a better sonar, but, yeah, to hell with that. So, yeah, we're back at Path Fremantle, and we are well ahead in the, the top skipper's race. And we're about to go on to our third patrol. I'm not going to show you what that is. You have to wait till next time. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, come back for the fourth episode? I think it's the fourth episode. Yeah, I'll see you next time.